Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we are looking at a Pro Touring Corvette. So what does that mean, Pro Touring Corvette? Well, first off, this car just arrived today, right? It just got on the showroom floor. It's not even, it doesn't even have a write-up. I'm gonna wing what I know about it after meeting the builder of this car. This car is owned by the same family, bought it brand new in 1976. His grandfather uh, purchased it. They built this incredible machine and now uh, it is time for somebody like yourself to finally realize uh, their dream and now you can enjoy it and take it to some car shows too. All the hard work has been done. It is spectacular. We're gonna spend a few minutes walking around seeing some of the detail you may or may not see and then uh, we can talk about any changes or modifications you wanna to make to it to make it your own. All right, so I want to talk about $25,000 for a minute. You say, well, tell me what's $25,000, that's the car? No, that's the body and paint on this car to do, $25,000. We say, well, how do you spend $25,000 on a car? Well, let's talk about that for a second. Complete custom front end. Look at this side seals all molded into there. The headlights molded into a special front clip that's there. The L88 hood that's there, right? The taillights, when we see that those are all custom done too. The front spoiler that's molded in. All of that, spectacular. The dark cherry paint, so beautiful. I'm holding a piece of paper that doesn't even apply to this car so I can do my famous uh, paint test on it because the car just arrived here. When you see this in the paint, you're gonna go, oh my God, but look, you can see everything. Even this, oh, sorry, I had to look at myself. I scared myself. 17 inch wheels. And so these are some of the things I wanted to talk about. When you get a car like this, you may might want to make it your own. Maybe you love it just as it is, and that's awesome. We don't need to change a thing. Maybe you want to change something. Maybe you want to change these 17 inch rims to a different style and keep the tire. Maybe you want to go 18s, right? Um, and I'd say there's probably a couple small changes you could make on the car that would make it your own if you wanted to. If you love it just the way it is, and many people love the cars that we get just the way they are and they don't do anything, uh, we could do that as well. But anyway, this part right here is just so well done. Door handles have been shaved, right? And we walk them back and we're seeing all kinds of, well, you know what, we're gonna head to the back of the car in just a minute, but let's go ahead and do our paint test right now. All right, so we're gonna do our paint test. This is, uh, this is dark cherry paint. That is spectacular done. I mean, it really is uh, at a level that most cars only dream of getting to. Even cars that we get here, which have great paint, uh, this is really, really spectacular. Look at every letter in there, nice and crisp. I just love this. I love the way this is blacked out inside here, adding like a little depth to the vehicle. It's got a mean, sinister front end, not to mention a lot under the hood to back up all this body. Ooh. All right, so a big part of the video, obviously, is the reveal, and the reveal now uh, this is a special, special part of this video. I don't know why I get so excited about cars that have just so much effort put into them, right? Well, I guess we all do, right? Let's take a look at this for a second because I want you to see this is not just a pretty face, okay? This is an enormous amount of attention and detail done inside here. And I want to point out some of those things. You need to see why this car is different than any other car that's out there, all right? Here's, for instance, example. The 383 Stroker agreed you can get that. Lots of cars have that. Well, let's say, not say lots of cars. It's an expensive engine. This car also has the Pro Charger mounted there, okay? That all fits in here. To make everything work in the serpentine belt system here, they kept the power steering. You want power steering in a car like this. Believe it or not, you want it, okay? They moved the tank over and underneath the fender. The MSD box for the high energy ignition, they custom color painted the of the same color as the outside of the body, black cherry, and hid that over there, right? It's got a 7,000 RPM chip in it for a rev limiter, all right? Endura shine uh, on the intake manifold, chrome air conditioning compressor, chrome alternator, chrome uh, mounts for the supercharger system, chrome uh, water pump. Uh, this is called a radiator module. So the way it works is it's this giant radiator, right? A be cool radiator with two electric fans that are put in its aluminum shroud. You want this. Why do you want this? Because Corvettes, the way they face uh, the, uh, the radiator, doesn't allow a lot of air in there. This solves that problem by taking all of those uh, difficulties out and giving them their own air system, right? We still have air conditioning that blows cold in the car. This is a comfortable car, but it's also a fast traveling car. I get so excited when you see this. This is something you could be super proud of, especially if you're going to a car show, cars and coffee or something. People are going to want to know what that wine is because when you start this car, there's no hiding it. All right, so Rack here, we're talking about style. This is what I talk about when I talk about a Corvette. Everyone knows what a Corvette is, right? There's no emblem here on this car. 
Everyone from behind will never, never confuse with the Mustang GT or a Porsche 911. People know it's a Corvette. This is custom stuff done here. Frenched in antenna over there, custom taillights here. A couple changes you might want to make here if you decide to do that. They make the spoiler that comes across like this that goes over there. That looks really nice on the car if you wanted. We could also put the Corvette emblem on there or we could leave it blank. Again, these are little touches that you can do. Flowmaster exhaust, the tips are pointing down, nice big fat exhaust, and man, does it sound good out here. Wait till we get it outside so you can hear that. All right, this is the last thing you do before you walk up and get in your time machine, right? The time machine, because this car is rapid, rapid acceleration, changing time quite quickly. Anyway, come join me in here. I wanna talk about a few things that I see make a restoration different than other cars. For instance, that annoying buzzer, that annoying buzzer takes a lot of effort to make work. I appreciate the buzzer, why? Because somebody went through the effort to make that happen still. This right here is still in place. This is tilt and telescopic wheel. It allows you to get to there. Tilt wheel, so here, so you can get in and be good. We got power windows. I didn't turn the key on. We got power windows. We got full gauges. We got 7,000 RPM tack. 160 mile an hour speedometer. This is a full custom leather interior. It goes all the way into the back. Look at the pictures of the back of this car. It's as much effort into the back of this car as it is to the seats, as it is to the custom door panels. This is a full custom dash. If you don't love this steering wheel, we can always change it to like a three spoke uh, sport style wheel or any other steering wheel you like. I think there's a couple touches on the car that were very personal for this car. You may love them and we don't need to change a thing, but I want you to know that that option is available. I'm not suggesting you have to do it. Anyway, the car just came in. It'll have a beautiful set of mats that are kind of custom done the same way uh, the seats are. This custom console is done. Here's the air conditioning controls. And if it was me, I probably would upgrade that stereo to a modern digital unit. They have one that fits right in there that you can stream your Bluetooth to, iPhone music, uh, stuff like that. Also has uh, satellite radio as well. So anyway, this is a, a $8,000 interior, maybe a $10,000 interior. By the time you're done doing all the electronics, wiring, windows, door handles, all that good stuff, and you are getting one spectacular, spectacular piece, especially a place to, to store the T-tops there in case you wanna drive for the whole day without them. Even this piece up here is custom stitch, custom match, the whole thing. There is a lot, a lot of effort here. All right, so we close up this video. We have roughly a $75,000 build by the time we add up all of the things that are on this vehicle, right? The amazing drivetrain, 383 stroker, right? With supercharger, aluminum heads, I mean, serious horsepower. Uh, radiator module, with big electric fan so you can enjoy this car. Air conditioning, right? Full custom leather interior from the dash all the way to the beautiful package panels made in the back. Body and paint is spectacular. Wheels and tires that are big. Polished suspension pieces, polished suspension pieces, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful car. Well done and drives like a dream. Anyway, you wanna save a lot, a lot of money and get a car that you can enjoy this weekend. This is the way you do it, all right? Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 76 Pro Touring Corvette. And uh, if you would, please don't forget to uh, share that with your friends right below. Click the like button as well and subscribe to our channel. We're putting out new content every day. And lastly, let's go for a test drive. You know, when a car is dialed in, it just runs, sounds, starts, does all the things it's supposed to do right. I hear that and I go, man, listen to that. Listen to the blower. <laughs> it's so good. Whenever you're ready. All right, man, we're out here doing our thing. I'm sorry. If it's a little loud, it's, I'm trying to talk over the blower wine. Maybe that's a little too much. Nothing sounds better than the grind of a blower. Listen to that thing howling. It's like two big turbos, almost the same sound, but even meaner sounded. All right, so when you get a Pro Touring Corvette, what's that mean? What's that mean is that not only does it go straight fast, but it handles and drives well too. You can go on a trip in this car. Look at this. Look at us go around the corners in this. It handles so nice. You can tell the suspension's dialed in, coilovers, those control arms that we looked at that are boxed and polished, and just a lot of great noise coming from here. Wow! We're having a good time. All right, listen, thanks so much for driving with us today. I will see you on the next ride.